Turn it off already. Yeah, man. I don't know. How did that song? Full. How did that song come up anyway? I don't know. You just started singing it. What am I singing? I don't know either. There's definitely a reason why I started singing. Or why I started uh, specifically singing Killer Queen. No, there's no reason. You just started doing it. Yo, Ash, what's up? What was there? You got here early. There's no reason. You just started singing it. I swear there was a reason. Is there a rhyme or reason? There was no reason. Only Zool. Oh, no reason, only Zool? Yeah. Only Monica. Chess Monica? Yeah. Still working on plushies? Nice. Nice. Always fun. Getting goofy on fumes still? Or you passed that part? <laughs> I'm always... I just remember that one time. I'm always goofy on fumes. <clears throat> I work a lot, so I always feel like I'm on fumes. Oh, okay. Get it? No, I don't get it. It's not funny. No. I need easy to explain it to me before it's funny. This is not real. <laughs> you shut your whore mouth. This is not real. <laughs> Start crying on screen. She's real in our hearts. <coughs> Wes is still dying a little bit. No, nah, this happens even when I get like normal sick. One time I was just sick for like, you know, I don't know, like like you get the normal flu or whatever in the oh, winter. Yeah. I had a cough for two weeks. So, according to the CDC, I'm not contagious. I still have my mask on, but hopefully this cough goes away by the end of the week. Speaking of, since you're not contagious anymore, do you want to watch something? Uh, Devin, I think, is still contagious, though. Is he? Yeah, because didn't he only test positive, like, sometime last week? Tuesday? <clears throat> I, I don't know. I mean, we can just watch stuff next week when he's definitely not contagious. That's fair. And then everyone should be good. Don't get me wrong, I wanted to watch Blackula on Martin Luther King Jr. Day just as much as you. I know, I did. I really wanted to. And Blackenstein. Black Frankenstein. Also, I always wanted to watch Boss. Oh, damn. Yeah, you can't, you can't finish the rest of that title. Oh, well, it's just, that's the title. It's just Boss. <laughs> that is the title on the newer version, if you buy it on Blu-ray, apparently. That was hilarious. Look, it's the title for people of my of my, yeah. of my of my look. Yeah. That movie is fucking dope. Oh yeah. Oh my awesome. god, that movie is hilarious. The deputy was the best character. He's the best guy in the movie. <clears throat> I feel so bad though, because the actor's dead. Mm-hmm. He was the villain in Dolomite. That's right, I remember that. My friends call me boss. We need to watch uh, uh, A Bar again. Oh man, <laughs> A Bar, the black <laughs> Superman, the first black Superman with the righteous stare. Put those kids through college, dude. He used his psychic powers to put the kids through college. That's fucking broken. It's tr <clears throat> truly the hero for our time. Mm-hmm. I just love that the doctor's like, yes, I thought the power might manifest like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> just was trying to make black people resistant to bullets. I love that shit. It's fucking so fucking stupid. I love every bit of that. 
I man, man, that movie was wild. It's so, it's weird because it's like a cheesy kind of like boring slow burn until it just becomes absolutely insane. Yeah, it yeah. goes from zero to a hundred real fucking quick. Yeah, it goes really fucking crazy. Yeah, that one was hilarious. <clears throat> No, 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 yeah. you'll never know peace here. You'll, you'll never have peace. peace as long as you live in this neighborhood. That crazy Karen lady. Yeah, that turned out. And at the end, she just was black. Yeah, yeah. and she was just worried that they were my outer. Yeah. I, I found <clears> out <throat> she was black when I saw that she had sickle cell anemia. Was, Something like that, yeah. yeah. She had some sort of disease. Yeah. I was like, my fucking God, this movie is insane. Yeah. He just legitimately like crushed the racists out of existence. Yeah, that's just, like nice. trapped them in that black square on screen, and they like were gone. Yeah, that's it's uh... like the Twilight Zone. He banished them to the cornfield. Yeah, that was a weird fucking movie. Like, <laughs> the more and more I think about it, like <clears throat> the more insane it becomes. Oh yeah, it's awesome. That's why I was like, we have to watch this movie. Oh yeah, no, I I totally agree. That was a fucking wild film. Mm-hmm. Just don't make them like that anymore. No, no, they can't. Cowards. Mm-hmm. We still need to watch the third Dolomite movie, That's where true. Dolomite comes back from the motherland and now has, like, magic powers. Oh, my God, I forgot about that. <coughs> it was made in the 90s. It was made in the 90s, damn. Yeah, like, he came back, he made another one. There's also one where he just edits himself into a kung fu movie. I remember that. Yeah. We had watched a few of those kinds of films in the past. Mm -hmm. So, what was it that we had watched? Yep. Um, oh, it was the um, Zodiac America. Yeah, those are just some of those movies, yeah. Evil Destroyer. Yeah, that's like uh, Godfrey Ho movies. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. <clears throat> Where they clearly feel like two to three movies just put together. Or just literally any Turkish film. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, we need to watch... You guys need to see Turkish Rambo. It is fucking amazing. It was hidden on the Blu-ray of the... Of a, what is that movie? Death Force? Or fuck, I forgot what it was called. Whatever one where he's just a terrifying... <laughs> that movie was insane. Yeah, that was fucking wild. That last scene... Dude, no, the dream sequence... Oh, that's right. It's in the house. Like... Weird-ass dream sequence, too. <laughs> Holy shit. Nah, man, but yeah, like the fucking... The very end of the fire. Oh, yeah, where he's like... That actual dummy that's on fire is, like, yeah. lunging at him, and he's terrified for his life. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one, yeah. That was hilarious. Oh, man. Chat, what we're trying to tell you is there's a lot of fucking really good movies you need to see. Turkish movies. Turkish, old Turkish movies old are absolutely insane. Turkish films. They're insane. Absolutely. Turkish Star Wars is one of the best movies ever made in world cinema. I'm inclined to agree, even though I always agree. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, those fucking movies were also just Oscar worthy. Oh yeah, definitely. The uh, what was the what was the movie that we'd seen called? Which one? The uh, not the, the one after the Trail of the Screaming Forehead. Oh, that was uh, Dark and Stormy Night. Oh, is that what, that's really just all it's called? The, it's, yeah, because it's a parody of the, the yeah. line, the famous line. Yes. Because that comes from a story. It's uh, the Edgar beginning Allen of a story. Poe, yeah. uh, no, it's not from Poe. I thought it was from Poe. Well, I don't believe so. I'm pretty sure it's from Poe. I don't believe it's from Poe. Hmm. I'll show you. Dark and Stormy Uh, it is from 1830 novel Paul Clifford. It starts with, it was a dark and stormy night. The rain fell in torrents, uh, except at occasional intervals when it was checked by a violent gust of wind, which swept up the street. And there's some more, but it's from like an English uh, novel. 
But then there's also a play uh, by the same name. And then, of course, the movie that we watched. Yeah, no, those are the the Larry, uh, what is this guy's name? Larry Blomeyer? Yeah, this guy's fucking hilarious. Yeah, he's great. <coughs> Well, this already looks like so much better than the original one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you drew that one in like, what, 2016, 2015? 2016, yeah. Yeah. 2016, and it was drawn in a small sketchbook. Yeah. <coughs> I always like this sword that she has. Yeah, the costume. really cool, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, this is one of the cooler weapons from Fire Emblem. Yeah, I would agree. I really like the designs of everything in this game. Mm -hmm. um, it makes sense. That, like a lot of people like hate Awakening for what it did to the franchise. That's when it was like jokingly started becoming Fetish Emblem. Mm -hmm. But that's like what how it revitalized it. This game actually like yeah pulled it, yeah pulled it from the depths. This is the first one on DS, right? Yeah. Yeah, there hadn't been one in a while. The last one was Sacred Stones. Yeah, and it, it wasn't very popular. I mean, it just was. You know, a strategy game on on GBA. Yeah, yeah. You know, <clears throat> I'm just saying it was just this is the game yeah. that revitalized the franchise. Yeah, yeah. And it gets a lot of shit though from all the uh, the what is it the OG fans those people. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't hang out in this circle much. Neither do I. I mean, I just like the characters and all that. I've just never played it. I never got around to playing it. So. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. You're welcome. But yeah, I don't know. It's a fun game. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Mm. I clocked in about like 400 hours in this game. Damn. Well, I still need to beat the one with Roy, and then I'm going to go back and beat the Super Nintendo one. So nice. Maybe I'll beat this one after that. Yeah, I've, got, I've still got the copy. Well, I don't want to play over your game. You or can. does it have multiple saves? It has three different save files on there. Oh. Okay. And I've used all three of them, but like they don't really mean anything. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. No. You don't, don't like, the nothing that you, there's no new <coughs> game plus. Mm, you have oh. to start from zero anyway, anytime you want to replay it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not one of those games that has a new game plus on it, so. Mm. Ash says bless you. Thank you. <laughs> <coughs> I still think you should. Well, no, you don't have any symptoms, right? No. Yeah, as long as you don't have any symptoms, you don't really need to get tested, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe but... get tested one <laughs> real quick. Yeah, I don't know anymore. I mean, like. Yeah, because you never got any symptoms while everyone was still really contagious. Yeah. And, like, I mean, again, I was wearing my mask. I would sleep with the mask on, regardless yeah. of where I slept. Um, mm -hmm. I, um, I was taking a lot of medication beforehand, anyway. Yeah. But I don't know. So, maybe I'm just immune to the virus. Who knows? Obviously. Obviously. It's, just a it's the kimchi. It's the kimchi. It's the kimchi. Now, this stream is in no way in part sponsored by kimchi, but if you're out there, Give us shit. free kimchi. Give us free kimchi. Yeah. Fucking H Mart, that sign. I need to see if I still have that on my phone. This is the stupidest looking sign. Yeah. There's a, for those of you who don't know, I don't think we actually mentioned this at all, but apparently in H Mart there's a sign that says Kimchi fights the coronavirus. Yeah, it was like, that's what it said on it. And it had like a picture and stuff. Because it said like something like in South Korea, the stats for like people who ate more kimchi were less likely to get it or to get like severe symptoms. Yeah, so like. It was just, like, really funny to see that at, yeah. like, a supermarket to sell shit. I thought it was hilarious. Yeah. And it was just funny because, like, I tested <clears throat> negative, like, twice. So we're, like, all saying it was the kimchi. Because I do eat kimchi on I think regular. We did, well, I think we did mention this. Yeah, because Ash, she said her mom believed it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I okay. I remember this. Okay, cool. It's been a while. Yeah. Like, to be fair, chat, I also, we just streamed, like, way... We streamed too... a lot lately. Yeah. Just because everyone was sick and at home. Yeah, so it's, like, might as well stream. So, like, at the same time, I'm like, I don't remember anything <coughs> I've said. Everything is a blur. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's from our. You should. We should get some uh, paid testimonials from this man now. Yeah. Give us free shit. Lord knows we need it. Yeah, give us a bunch of free chicken too. I want some. It goes great with kimchi. Yeah, it goes great with whatever the fuck I'm gonna eat it with. Shh. You gotta tell him it's kimchi. Which would be all kimchi. Yeah, exactly. It's nothing but kimchi. Nothing but kimchi. Yeah. Thanks, Kim. Right? Sponsored by K12. Yeah, dude, K12. Best part of Solar Adventure. <laughs> they were the real heroes, defeating those communist spies. It's true. Who said they were nice people, but they really weren't. Yeah. They were liars. Don't believe those communists, chat. Yeah. Joe Biden tells you he's a nice guy, don't believe him. No, don't do it. <coughs> you, especially if he hands you ice cream. That's commie ice cream. Commie ice cream, don't do it. God. <laughs> What's sad is there's probably someone out there who believes that. It's Me. Uh-huh. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> Okay, cool. Uh, never, that joke never gets old. Right. Ellen says she wants ice cream. Honey, you can't have ice cream right now. You're <clears throat> sick. The dairy will hurt you. Mm. Just steal Devin's ice cream that's in the freezer. I don't know if he's even eating it. I mean, you, if it's for stealing from Devin, then yeah, you can have ice cream. Yeah, even God will forgive that. Yeah. God will forgive stealing from Devin. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Devin is a godless commie anyway. It's true. Have you seen his AOC shirts, Chad? I know, right? <coughs> he wants to tax the rich. They make jobs, Chad. They make jobs. I can't even. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> she says, I don't need God's forgiveness. Damn. She just needs ice cream. I don't need God's forgiveness. I need ice cream. That's what she needs. I added the ice cream part, but yeah. But I mean, like, that... that it's like the Vulcan. Like, I need more rage. <laughs> yeah. I don't need laughter. I need more rage. I need more rage. Man, that's... <clears throat> I still love that not even... That never once did she, like, lift the security clearance. Nope. Him. It was like, well, he's already broken it. Like, I mean, he could do it again. That's like five minutes out of my day. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> she was probably like hoping, a part of her was like hoping, well, I mean, you know, if he doesn't, if he doesn't break it open fast enough, maybe the fucking robots will kill him. Yeah, right. <coughs> I don't, <laughs> it also makes me think of like, I don't need sleep, I need answers. Right. Or the, uh, if I get banned from, uh, what is it, get, shouting obscenities at the animals at the zoo, zoo I'll wolf. face God and walk backwards yeah. into hell. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah. That one's a good one, too. It's just so weird that that's, like, that's what that's from. That's just a random tweet. It's from that guy who just tweets weird stuff. Oh, I know, but that's just so funny that, like... A phrase like, oh, yeah, I yeah. will look God in the eye and walk backwards into hell is from that. It's like that line from Spy Kids 2 that's super deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel like God stays in his heaven because he too fears what he's created? Also, fun fact, my brother says that that movie is one of the greatest films ever made. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's just such a fun thing to hear him <clears throat> say that. It's good, but it's not as scary as Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Yeah, usually whenever the scary parts come out, I make an excuse to make out. <laughs> <laughs> I love that line. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, do you want to watch Shark Boy and Lava Girl and make out during the scary parts? The, the scary parts of Shark Boy and Lava Girl? It's probably talking about the parts with what is uh with what's his face uh George Lopez's fucking giant head. It's talking about the entire movie. <laughs> the entire film, yeah. It's a nightmare experience. It is a nightmare experience. I will agree with that. <clears throat> it's uh it's not a good movie. Yeah. 
<laughs> Despite having an amazing title. Yeah. Still a piece of shit film. Alright. Shark Boy and Lava Girl sound like some uh, My Hero OCs, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's. Not Don't like... they? They do. I'm like, why did you have to speak such evil into this world? <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, My Hero Academia is fine. It's just the term, the phrase My Hero Academia OC. It just makes me want to... Makes me want to vomit. <clears throat> what? It's getting a reboot? What? What's getting a reboot? Shark... Ash says Shark Boy and Lava Girl is getting a reboot. That's insane. I don't believe it. Are they getting Taylor Lautner to come back and reprise his role in this amazing <coughs> masterpiece? Yeah, it's credible. Wow. Oh, he is not returning. Shame. Shame. Yeah, Taylor Lautner is not returning. I wonder why not. Why they're, they're not coming back. It's a shame. <clears throat> why would he not want to come back for his breakout role? That movie is... That movie is god-awful. Look, in these dark times, nostalgia is all we have. And even the worst nostalgia is better than living with the current situation. Well, I mean, ever since the incident. Which is why I suggest we all stab ourselves with hallucinatory drugs and hope that we go into comas. Nostalgia comas. Forever. Mm, I think you might be onto something there, Chuck. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> It'll be like those pods in Fallout that you can go into. I was thinking like the Bloodlands in the Matrix. Well, that works too. <coughs> Better use them. It's time. <laughs> it's time to hopefully draw a straight line. <laughs> you still can't do it, Chad. Hey, man. He's trying. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Ellen says Shark Boy has a helmet that covers the actor's face because it's not the same person. Damn. That's amazing. <clears throat> Why didn't they just CG him in? Like Star Wars. Probably couldn't get the rights. I don't know. Then they should have killed him. That way they didn't have to worry about getting rights. <laughs> they killed him. <laughs> For the Shark Boy and Lava Girl reboot. <laughs> yeah. That way, then oh, they can CG Lord. him into anything they want also. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, <laughs> chat. Chat! <laughs> there is no god. There is no king. It's just wings. Nothing, yeah. No gods, no kings. It's wings. That's it. I got these wings from a place called It's Just Wings. <laughs> so I add the, like, Bioshock onto it. Oh my god, I can see it. It's insane. What? The, the like, outfit and everything. Is it? with the facial cover oh my god but they got the other girl back yeah that's hilarious <laughs> the goes to show you <laughs> who had a career and who so didn't so dumb that's kind of tragic that uh taylor lockner is the only one who walked away with a career after that movie <clears throat> honestly it feels it feels wrong chat I guess it's already out. It says released New Year's on Netflix. Wait, it's out? Chat, what are we That's even... what this, this tweet says. Chat, what are we even... It says releases globally on Netflix on New Year's Day. Chat, what are we even doing? <coughs> Let's all go watch Shark Boy and Lava Girl. The reboot. The rebooting. And Sabrina's here just like, What? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
the possibility of COVID infection be damned. Let's go watch Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Yeah, but where's like Spy Kids Twelve at? Come on. <laughs> Man, that is a good question. Who thought that rebooting Shark Boy and Lava Girl was a good idea? Someone who wanted to make five dollars. That's why all Netflix originals are made. I guess, yeah. Is it an effort to make at least five dollars or possibly six dollars? Anywhere between five and six dollars, huh? Yeah, anywhere between five or six dollars is a successful Netflix endeavor. Mm, I'd agree. Sabrina says, I don't know what I walked into, but it's always something here. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it seems like it's more like a sequel or something. Reboot, sequel, I don't know, something. Something, something, excuse to the make squeakle, money. The sequel, you know? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. The search <clears throat> for more money. Bro, I'll bet if that Chipmunks movie had just had real Chipmunks, it would have been the shit. Just like the Smurfs movie, if they had just got people to be blue, it, I would have watched it. Like, when it was announced, and they were like, oh, live-action Smurf movie, I was like, oh, shit. Blue Katy Perry as Smurfette? Let's do this. Then I was sadly disappointed. It's true. It was a disappointment. Yeah. Should have just painted everyone blue and fucking CG'd them into the scene. It would have looked way better. I mean, it's one of those really dumb kids movies where <coughs> instead of being focused on the, the, the character that you are doing, you make it focus on the real world, about the real or boring character. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, like... Basically the OCs. Yeah. Someone had their Smurf OC added in who wasn't a Smurf. Yeah. And they make the movie about them. Like, I, don't get me wrong, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie was great, but, like, it still did that same thing. Yeah. But I, I get it. You're supposed to create a character that... That every man who's watching it can latch on to. Which is kind yeah, of dumb in a way. Like action. a human character. Yeah, but I feel which is dumb to me. I don't know, Sonic had pretty good development in that Sonic movie, I think. No, 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 no. I'm saying... And it, Robotnik had amazing development. I'm saying... Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> that movie is good. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that it's following that same formula. Mm. Of that you can't just have your... Um, your mascot character be the main character. You have to have him interact with the everyman. I mean, that makes it, I don't know, easier to watch, I guess. I know, I'm just saying, I personally don't like it. <coughs> While I understand it, that it is a formula that works, I just personally do not like it. Yeah. Well, there's no way they were going to go full Roger Rabbit. It's just too damn expensive. No, yeah. Yeah, no way in heck would they do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I agree. I would rather have a, like, if it was the Smurfs movie, it would have just been about the Smurfs doing Smurf shit in Smurfville or wherever the fuck they live, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Much better. I don't need, like, hey, let's make a shitty movie and also put Smurfs in it. Yeah, because that's usually how it goes. It's just... Yeah, that's how most of them are. <clears throat> Yeah, that's why it's kind of like this. Because <coughs> you're just like, oh, it's just a generic kind of shitty movie that involves, you know, like, mm -hmm. an animal character that, like, doesn't fit in. Now he has to make the life of the person that he's interacting with better somehow. Because they're, oh, they're not doing things right or something like that. And through the magic of whatever fictional character, they learn how to, you know, be better. <sighs> it's boring. better person the only way we can become better is if weird things are suddenly thrust upon our lives and we now have to deal with them I mean I don't think that's true COVID taught me a lot <laughs> All right. things thrust upon <clears throat> us do not make us better I think they make us worse Chad I'm 14. Well, no, I mean a physical living object. 
I mean, like a baby or an animated raccoon. A baby and animated raccoon. One of those things. Um, <clears throat> it does make me really want to watch Tokyo Godfathers again. Though that movie was so good. Yeah. I hope they show Paprika in theaters soon, because that's the only one we need to go see still. Yep, yep, yep. <coughs> There's no way I'm not seeing that in theaters. Oh, definitely not. Like, I don't give a fuck. COVID or not. <laughs> yeah. Super Corona or not. Zombie Corona or not. Mm-hmm. That movie is a masterpiece. I was thinking of the zombie minx, but yeah. No, no, I meant the... Like, oh, Paprika, Paprika is a masterpiece. Yeah. I'm not missing that in theaters. I thought we were talking about the one where he watched the... Oh, no, that was dumb as fuck. Yeah, yeah. At the Scramble Soup Factory yeah, with yeah. the bat flavored soup. Yeah, the bat flavored soup. <clears throat> it's just a bad idea. Roger Rabbit 2, Electric Boogaloo. That'd be pretty good. Which one is Claws? There's obviously some sort of Santa Claus thing. Oh, it was was that one of the ones we watched? I don't know what that one is. Hold on. Let me look that up. Oh, it was this movie. I saw you uh, link something about this movie before. <clears throat> Yeah, now I know the movie you're talking about. <coughs> I realized there's a little bit of a, some smudges here and there, but I can fix that. Hmm. Smudgy ass mother smudger. Think of the integrity of the piece, Matthew. There is none. <coughs> Damn. It's a fire emblem picture. Damn. <laughs> It's a fetish emblem piece. I don't think there is any dignity in it. What, what was your analysis? Hold on, I, let me go back and look real quick. Oh, the two hour rant thing? Oh, definitely. What two hour <coughs> rant? What? How our stream always works. Oh, two hour rant? Matt has a, Matt has a two hour rant about what he hates. I mean, Duh. I mean, that's all I, that's all I have is what I hate. Mm -hmm. I'm a bitter old man, chat. <laughs> Only have that, I guess. Yeah, that's it. <coughs> sure. <laughs> oh shit, Ralph, making sure you sit up straight. You know what really grinds my gears? Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. That's what chat seems to stay here for, is me ranting. Oh, obviously, the utter insanity that is a Matt rant. I mean... The they, madness of it all. They can change the channel at any time. I don't know. <laughs> <tell them. clears throat> What's up, Ralph? How you doing? Apparently, Jamie was doing some animation exercises. Nice. <clears throat> Glad to hear you're doing good. <coughs> Wes is still dying. Yep. I've got my post-sickness cough that happens, like I was mentioning earlier. I swear one time I had a cough for like two weeks after just having a mild cold several years ago, and it was so fucking annoying. Hopefully it just goes away by then, though. <clears throat> well, Ellen says you gotta take a drink. That's fair. Or else you'll die. <clears throat> what am I gonna die of? Uh, not drinking. Oh, okay. Oh, 
like a brown? It's a terracotta. Okay. It's the brown. <coughs> it's like those Chinese warriors in the tomb. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> the very same. Uh, no, I haven't watched it yet. I still have the tab open, though. What thing has he not watched yet? That web series. Oh, that's right, the con thing. Yeah. Usually pretty bad about watching, getting around to watching suggestions. I saw a bunch of stuff I want to watch that I haven't even watched. So, <coughs> that's a cha because I got it through the, oh. through that tiny crack area. Yeah, nailed it. I like this commitment to the direction. Yeah, it makes it look better. Yeah. <coughs> makes it look a little less weird. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, this is from Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem Awakening. Or as we like to jokingly call it, Fetish Emblem. Or as Calvin just said, Lucina from Smash. That too, yes. Yeah. Both both accurate and uh, correct <clears throat> answers. Oh no, you're trying to play something and your uh, computer shut down? Ooh, that's rough. Yeah. Yeah, Spring computer uh, didn't want to let her play a game. I know it has like a, her computer has like a problem with overheating. Hmm. I know my Switch had a weird error earlier today. Mm. Yes, yeah, Super Smash Fire Emblem Sword Bros. Fire Emblem needs its own fighting game. Yeah, it really does. Like, just get them all out of Smash, patch them all out, and then put them all into their own game. It is really funny, though, anytime someone complains about a Fire Emblem <coughs> character. Like, it's just really funny to me just because Fire Emblem used to be one of those games that was super niche and no one knew about. Yeah. And then it got popular because of, of Awakening and made them a lot of money. So, like, oh, I guess since it's popular, we got to put them in Smash now. And then everyone's like, no, not another Fire Emblem character. Tired of this goddamn I'm Fire Emblem <coughs> Sucks, man. I mean, it has, like, the most, almost, of characters, right? Other than, no, I guess, no. Mario characters. Uh, Mario right? and Pokemon still have, like, about few, like three or four more. Oh, really? Yeah. Poke I I, Pokemon had that many and, characters. And Kirby has a lot of characters, too. Kirby has, like, three characters. Right? Just Kirby, King DDD, and Meta Knight. Is there another Kirby character? I guess one of those a few char more characters than that. Like, there's a bunch that are support trailer uh, trophies or whatever maybe i'm thinking of sakurai himself has a bunch of his characters in there because that's that's true actually that he has uh, more of his characters in there so because uh he he since he made um he also made uh kid icarus too that's probably what i'm thinking of <laughs> calvin said three is a big number to matt it's true i was thinking of probably all the sakurai's <laughs> characters that are in there oh you're trying to play the witcher like just the first one No, no, my laptop couldn't play anything either, so it, it could barely play videos half the time. That's true. <clears throat> oh, God. <coughs> 
I was going to look up to see what the distribution of characters is. Mm. <clears throat> this keeps seeing like a bunch of like a list of all the characters. See Mario Super Mario has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine characters listed on here. And Fire Emblem has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters on here. I guess there are not as many Fire Emblem characters as there are Mario characters. They're close though. What about Legend of Zelda? Uh Legend of Zelda Include all the different links that we have too. Uh, well, Legend of Zelda has one, two, three, four, five, six characters. Um, all right. Are you... So Super Mario still has more characters. Well, hold on. The question is, um, are you counting um all the links separately? All the links? What do you mean? Like, there's Young Link, Regular Link, and Toon Link. Yeah, they're on here. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, I was like, do you mean like all four Four Swords links or something weird like that? Like, no, no, I, I just know didn't know because because I was like, because there, there's like Sheik, Samus, one, two, and not Sheik, Samus, four, Sheik, five, uh, six, Zelda. There's just as many Pokemon as there are Mario characters. Yeah, so. Yeah, no, Sheik and Zelda are listed separate on here. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, there's just as many Pokemon as there are Fire Emblem characters. <coughs> so Fire Emblem, Pokemon, and Mario have the most. Like, by a mile. Hmm. It's interesting that... Uh, I just want there to be more Zelda characters, too, to be honest with you. No. Interesting. <coughs> yeah, I'm looking at like the actual Smash Bros. website. No, oh, yeah, you are. Well, just as long as the cat stays in there and does not demand his blood. Yeah, it seems like he was having a bit of allergies earlier. Right. Damn, Calvin's an expert. He plays Smash three to four times a week. <coughs> well, I also am an expert, too. Based upon most uh, standards of what the word expert means. That's true. I have seen you uh, give someone a Google link one time. It's true. So, therefore, I'm an expert in Smash, even though I don't really play it nearly at all. It's true. <coughs> You need more Belmonts? That sounds like your solution, Sabrina, yeah. <coughs> Look, chat, if you want less Fire Emblem characters to be in Smash, make sure that the next Fire Emblem <coughs> game sucks. If you want less Fire Emblem characters, play N64 only, like a real gamer. It's true. <coughs> There's no Fire Emblem characters at all in that game. Exactly. It's the only one that doesn't have the scourge of Fire Emblem. Yeah. And it's obviously the most balanced one, too. Definitely super balanced. Hyper balanced. Oh, obviously. Doesn't have anything like tripping. <coughs> or smash balls. Mm hmm Professor Layout? You mean like Professor Layton? 
It probably was an autocorrect. I think so. <laughs> Every puzzle has an answer. Sometimes that answer is violence. That's fucking funny. It's true. Because <coughs> you're about to get laid out. <coughs> I want Cooking Mama to be a playable character. It's true. Uh, aren't all the Phoenix Wright games on Nintendo products only, or is there anyone on like the PSP or anything like that? No, that's on uh, Nintendo only. Okay. I just know it's a Cap- other than like Phoenix Wright is in Capcom versus as uh, Marvel vs. Capcom three. Yeah, I just know that it's a Capcom character, so I just didn't know if it was something that would. No, I'm pretty sure they're all only on uh, DS. Yeah. <clears throat> Which character is Deskhole? I'm gonna go look this up real quick. From? Uh, oh, this guy. Okay, from that. I think that's the first Lightning game. Or oh. maybe. The dude with the mask on. There's a lot of dudes with masks. This guy. Oh, that guy. Is that from the first Lightning game? Oh, I believe so. <clears throat> oh, I should know. Des Descole, Descoli, Descala. What the des? What What does it say in Japanese chat? You know they don't have a name spelled out in Japanese on here. I have no idea how to pronounce it. It's tragic. Yeah, I'll never know how to pronounce his name. <clears throat> Truly a dark timeline. Yeah, it's uh, it's unpronounceable. It's not in Japanese. I don't know. I really liked the movie for Professor Layton. Mm-hmm. I thought it was really good. I would hell be down to watch <coughs> the rest of the Layton anime. Yeah, the Catrail Layton anime. Mm-hmm. Man, was that show fucking great. That show was awesome. <coughs> I have it all subtitled now. It's just like subtitled by like three different groups. That's funny. Just kind of annoying. I mean, I watched. That's how I watched Oliver Yuki. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not disrespecting him. I'm just saying that they didn't put his name in Japanese on the wiki, so I don't know how to pronounce it. Therefore, it's unpronounceable. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the official pronunciation. Yeah. It's the only way to settle an argument. Otherwise, we might as well just be out here, like, you know, Hunter Squared all day. Yeah. Do you want that job? <coughs> to say Hunter Squared? When it's clearly pronounced Hunter Hunter? Mm-hmm. Is that the world you want to live in? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't want to live in that world. It's not saying much, but, you know. Hunter times Hunter. These fucking evil people out here. Square root of berserk. Actively trying to just destroy the world by saying Hunter Hunter wrong. Knowingly. I mean you're one of those people who say that. Actually they're they're the ones who are unknowingly yeah. doing it and they're just evil. Yeah, yeah. They're educated stupid. Yeah, yeah. It's like the time cube guy says. <coughs> Jack, can you actually believe Devin's the funniest person in our house? <laughs> what? Why? He always wins cards against humanity. Oh, did he win last time y'all were playing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You say it, Hunter EX Hunter? Where'd you get the E from? <laughs> or do you mean X, like the, you're pronouncing it that way? EX. Okay. I kind of like, the, like I imagine you just say EX because you just said fucker. That would be really funny. I think you meant like X, the sound X. <clears throat> yeah, you just say the X, yeah. Now the X is mm-hmm. silent. There's a lot of Japanese stuff like that that has, like, X's in it, where the X is silent. Like Yu-Gi-Oh! Zeal. Yeah. Or sometimes it's not pronounced X at all, it's pronounced cross. Yeah, that's why I, you always gotta look it up. That's what I always tell people. I'm like, nah, just go to the Japanese pronunciation. <laughs> or like those fuckers that pronounced Machina Machina. 
Mm-hmm. Those fuckers fucking don't know goddamn shit. Piss me off. <laughs> Sabrina says, I say Hunter Key Hunter as our Kingdom Hearts gods demand. <laughs> what is Devin demanding? Hunter xylophone hunter. I would, you know, I would be fine with that one. Actually, that's pretty funny. Hunter Xavier hunter. <laughs> hunter Zeta hunter. Yeah, right. Hunter G hunter. Oh, G, yeah. <clears throat> Hunter x Hunter, my OTP, <laughs> right? Fuck. <laughs> That's a good one. Hunter Xenon girl of the 21st century. <laughs> Hunter Xenomorph Hunter. Mm-hmm. Hunter, Hunter slanted plus sign Hunter. <laughs> I don't know what to call that little slanted plus sign they put in. <laughs> it's just silent. Normally, I don't know what that is, Cletus. <laughs> normally you just say bingo. <clears throat> it reminds me of the Confederate flag, you know, but uh, no stars on it. <laughs> Hunter, no Hunter. Hunter, and then you play that sound when the X comes up on screen in Japanese TV. Uh, Hunter, brr, Hunter. <laughs> Hunter bots, Hunter. <clears throat> Hunter, Xena Warrior Princess, Hunter, hell yes. The Xena was my jam back in the day. Hunter, Xenoblade Chronicles, Hunter. Mm-hmm. Right, Jamie, hold strong. Don't get into it until you know it's going to finish. Oof, rough. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're gonna, Jamie. I think you'll probably pass away before Hunter Hunter is finished. Mm -hmm. Not to say you're going to die young. You're going to die very, very old. Mm -hmm. And by very, very old, I mean very, very old in the internet sense. Yeah. So when you're thirty. <clears throat> Don't worry, you haven't missed much that isn't animated. You just Karapika has a dolphin. That's all you need to know. Karapika's got a dolphin. <clears throat> and Gon met his dad. And yet the series is still going. Mm hmm Somehow. Some way. Life finds a way. Right, we now have semi-consistent berserk chapters. Yet no no sign of Hunter Hunter ever coming back. Nope. Uh, not even a bit. <clears throat> Truly the world is a cruel place. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Jamie says, much like Supernatural, everything I learn is against my will. <laughs> That's true. <coughs> Supernatural is not a good show. You, were, you lucked out in not having to watch it. 
Oh yeah, Demon Slayer is really good. You should watch it. Yeah, and it's also finished in the manga, so you know. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be more anime soon. Yeah, because the movie uh, is already out and things like that, so they're probably gonna be doing something with it. Yeah, my well, guess is like next year if there if there. I mean, there should be an announcement this year of when they'll do more anime for it. I mean, if there is a next year. Damn. <clears throat> I mean, we're still in 2020, right? Sure. Like March two hundred and seventy five. He doesn't like to indulge me anymore, chat. It's just gotten old. <clears throat> I don't know. Day ten billion of twenty twenty, and it's still twenty twenty. Is this I... is the formula for a Matt 2020 joke. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you got the pitch just right. Oh god, what is this? Hold on. <coughs> uh, let's see. Sabrina says, For anyone who hasn't heard, the effect of the first few seasons of Supernatural, which was holy water with... Oh, the holy... Yeah, the holy water that was lube. Yeah, you told me that. That was hilarious. <clears throat> so that would show up on stream, right? <clears throat> it's like some of the, back in the day, all the weird stuff they would have that isn't actually food on mm -hmm. screen. Just because, like, it wouldn't keep right. I know ice cream was like that. Yeah. Where there was a lot of times where, like, ice cream was not actually ice cream. Because otherwise it would melt under the lights. Yeah, they'd use, like, mashed potatoes <clears throat> or mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah. something on the stream. It's all right, man. It's just not 2020 is still going jokes. No, no, no that's fine. <laughs> I'll leave all the talking to you. Okay, okay. All right. Clearly, we got a big baby over here, everyone. Chat, yeah. chat, we got a big baby. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll just do what I do best, and that's from the picture. Oh, okay. Because I'm the picture drawer. Okay, all right. You're the Mr. Funny Man. Is this the existential crisis? No. I don't really, uh, I don't do that anymore. Oh, okay. <coughs> Bye, Jamie. See ya. Doesn't this game involve time travel or something? It does, yes. Okay. And it does it actually pretty well. Shocking. Yeah. Especially for our fantasy series. Mm -hmm. Because the way time travel works is that you can only go one way. Oh, okay. You can't go multiple ways. <coughs> and and um, it, You can't go both ways? What yeah. a bigoted game. <laughs> it does, yeah, uh, time travel doesn't go both ways. Um... And the people who went to the past can never, like, they, the people who went to the past can't get back to the future. Gotcha. They're, uh, they have to be, they have to, like, actually, um, <coughs> grow up and be a part of the new timeline. Mm. Which is, I think it's an interesting take, at least. Like, c compared to most, uh, 
takes on time travel, like, you know, where they have to go back to the future and things like that. Mm-hmm. And then for some reason, the future they go back to is totally new and fine. <coughs> So in this one, they're like, well, we'll never get to see the better future because our, our world is doomed, but, you know, at mm. least we got back and we're able to help save this future. Mm. <clears throat> I'm usually not the biggest fan of time travel. Yeah. You know, it's okay. It's never really well done is the problem. It like, depends on what it's what's going on. Yeah, again, like, it just never feels well done. <clears throat> There's only a couple of them that feel pretty good. Yeah, not too many. Um, I was trying to think of, like, ones that I thought did a pretty good job. Like the Ethan Hawke one, where yeah. he's, he's all his own family. Yeah, that one's just, because that one's just ridiculous. <clears throat> um, Back to the Future does a pretty okay job of doing it, too. Yeah, Back to the Future does it in a pretty fun way. Yeah, they, they do a. Uh, yeah, I think they do a pretty good job. I'm trying to think of anything else. I don't like. Uh, what I usually don't like is when, like, it feels like you could just see right through the. Like, why didn't they just do this instead? You know, on the time travel? Yeah. That kind of thing can bother me. Like in the Terminator. Like, why wouldn't the Terminators just go back and, like, I don't know, keep sending robots back to, like,. I don't know, the fucking dinosaur age or something. <clears throat> I mean, they can't... I don't know. It doesn't... That that one was... was I'm a little confused, because, like, since timeline change, is it because they couldn't erase their own existence? Or, like, I don't really know. I know they couldn't erase their... They were try, They had to uh, make it so they couldn't erase their own existence, so if they went back to, like, the dinosaur age, they could erase... That would erase their own existence. Or something like that. I don't know if that actually happened in that timeline. To be honest... Like, there was different stuff when they made the newer movies yeah so, so like that that's the big problem too is uh, whoever takes over the franchise takes over the writing of the time travel and the try that you know, mm-hmm. then it just gets really convoluted from there <coughs> yeah it's like time travel is an interesting idea but yeah it's just normally like never done well yeah kind of poorly done most of the time <clears throat> yeah it's never fun because again like, <coughs> no one does a really good job of it so it's also usually a like um if it comes up too late in a franchise it's very like jump the shark ish yeah like dragon ball you know yeah some shit like that it's like oh fuck uh we have nothing left to do i've written myself into a corner uh time travel done yeah though to be fair uh the future shrunk saga was like, the worst most no, that one's that one's fine. It kind because of, it kind of fits, but it still feels out of left field. If after watching like all of Dragon Ball, yeah, you're like, I never expected this show to do time travel, mm-hmm. and then they did it again <laughs> in Super. Yeah, the Super one is a, a little weaker. Yeah, because again, it's not really a Kira Toriyama writing it. It's just he's just like there to cash the check. Yeah, I don't remember. I thought he was working on that manga. <laughs> yeah, but like. I don't know how much is, like, in that one, that was weird, because, like, the anime was ahead of the manga. Yeah. And the manga was different on a lot of parts. Again, yeah, so it's, like, who knows how much he's actually being involved in. I just know that he's cashing the check, and that's really all that matters. (laughs) Yeah, Sabrina says the best stuff is, like, short sci-fi stuff with it. I would agree. (laughs) Like, uh, Sound of Thunder does a pretty good job of it. Yeah, like, because, again, if you do too much with it, that's when you're like, well, why didn't they just do whatever? And, like, why didn't they put the time travel in it, you know? Yeah, and it's also really important <coughs> if you do time travel to make sure you set your rules. Mm-hmm. And then, like, stick with them. Yeah. Because, like, if you back down on your rules on the sci-fi, it's, it makes it even much more egregious. Yeah, because sci-fi is all about rules. Yeah, that's another thing that's always frustrating too. Because we talked about this like one of the streams about like why sci-fi is so hard to become popular, and it's just because of the fact that it's you know there's too many uh, parts in a sci-fi where you as the reader can lose your suspension of disbelief, Uh, especially if like you don't have any set rules or anything like that. I mean, the rules are just like part of sci-fi. Like I think like 
if you don't enjoy like rule explanations sometimes like sci-fi might not be for you it depends on the sci-fi of course yeah again like but... there's, like, also, like, there's just so many different variations of the yeah of that genre but like my specific thing is like usually when you're reading or watching sci-fi you're like wait why didn't they do x why is this okay the suspension of disbelief is a lot like yeah it can get especially if it's like hard science fiction yeah because again like science fantasy or just you know fantasy in general when they don't explain things because they don't need to be explained you can just say it's magic that works a lot better in their favor yeah it depends on the series obviously yeah yeah because there are much more like there's a lot of fantasy where they have like a bit harder rules on stuff too so. right again but like for some reason it's a little bit easier for you to believe that oh it's magic so it can do something whereas it's science and science can ex- has to be able to explain it mm-hmm. at some level yeah sometimes when they're explaining the thing you're like this sounds really dumb yeah because because they... i remember um we were talking about that one time with inception i was talking about that someone and they were like the best part of that movie is they don't try to explain how this dream machine works because it would have just been like really weird and confusing and i feel like i would hate that yeah <clears throat> it's just it's a machine you can put you can get in people's dreams all right we're done now it's a heist movie you know yeah it's now like a spy heist movie what if we turn paprika into a heist film all right it took away all the color. Hey, man, nobody wanted color in that time. Yeah, and then we gave them all fog horns, too. Yeah, oh my god, I can't stand that horn. <coughs> what? I can't, what? <coughs> you don't like the <coughs> sound? So crazy. So frustrating, yeah. yeah. That, like, became every fucking trailer. Mm-hmm. Everyone had to copy Inception. <coughs> That's why everything also had to have no fucking color in it, too. No colors. Adult. It's an adult film. It's an adult movie, chat. You can tell because there's no color. Colors for kids. Yeah, because it just lays down, like, really simple dream rules about, like, there's levels of dreams, you know, you have, you can wake up from the dream, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Which, it stays pretty consistent on that, if I remember right. Yeah, no, Christopher so Nolan's at least pretty good yeah. about keeping consistency in his films. <clears throat> Whenever there's weird, bizarre sci-fi mm-hmm. things happening. Like, even in um, films like um, Interstellar, the actual science and the actual, like, yeah. work that was done to make sure that it was, you know, a proper hard sci-fi was done very well. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but overall i'm still like certain hard sci-fi just are not very good it also doesn't help that like uh some of the hard sci-fis we've watched have just really bad acting in it too oh it depends on the yeah what was it the sci-fi ro- just like any other genre can have just horrible stuff in it the robot holocaust <clears throat> do robot holocaust fucking masterpiece <laughs> god that movie was bad it's a fucking piece of shit movie <laughs> and yet you gonna head out ash all right Have and a yet good night. no no all that sexual <clears throat> tension but for nothing yeah there was even a weird sex chamber machine thing yeah it's weird it was so weird like hey can't be using the sex pod if you're not even doing your job <laughs> yeah with the two people holding the orb and shit like what was that were those people really there like while that was on was that part of the sex fantasy I, it's look man i don't know i don't it's insane it was just part of his weird kink i was expecting <clears throat> i do think that was funny i think i can't remember who said it but they were like half expecting that the robot that came out when it was like to reveal its true form that they're like all right it's gonna be neil breen behind that yeah yeah it sounded like the lost skeleton yeah that too and someone said that and i would ag- agree like wholeheartedly <clears throat> I still agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that movie's fucking terrible. It's god awful. Yeah, there's a mystery science theater episode for that. It's pretty funny. Ah man, and then I forgot that same director did a movie about where the guy's whole entire body was a gun. Yes. But it never it once never came up. explained it. He never like 
said, I am a robot cyborg man who has a gun everywhere. He just sometimes did gun things. And they were like, hey, what's with you? And he's like, it's a lot of explaining. It was like a really bad pilot for a series. <coughs> man, that was a bad movie. You must think we're all savages because we like doing voodoo. Uh, I don't give a fuck. I'm just here to, to you know, be, get paid. You know? Look, <laughs> like, look, man, we just want to get our security job. Yeah, exactly. We, we literally could not care less. We don't really care about whatever this plan is for rebels or your country or whatever. Yeah, just... that, that whole fucking plot was so dumb. <laughs> there was so much of that movie was the security guy explaining security things. Yeah. He would just be like, oh, here's what it says in the script about the plot in case uh, we hadn't mentioned it. Yeah. Because we haven't. We have not. Yeah, that was fucking funny. <clears throat> God, what a fucking god awful piece of shit movie. That movie was pretty bad. For a movie that has a guy whose dick is a gun. Yeah, like, you'd think that if someone, like, came up to me and said, hey, there's a movie where this guy's dick is a gun. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be great. And then you were to tell me. That clip was hilarious. Then you were to tell me it's not good. I'd be like, well, yeah, of course it's not good. But, like, do you mean if it's, like, not good in a bad way or not good in a, like, you know, good way? Yeah. They, they tell me it was, you know, the latter of the two. I'd be very distraught. Mm -hmm. In fact, I wouldn't believe them. Oh, I know. You can't just give me that kind of a plot and say it's bad. Oh, yeah, it was hella boring. It was insanely boring because nothing would happen because they were too busy talking about security. Yeah, it's like someone who was, like, just really into security wanted to make a movie. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Like, I can't believe you made voodoo boring. How oh, did, I know, right? How did you make voodoo boring? Yeah. Like, that's insane to me. Yeah, it's a movie about, like, voodoo and a guy whose entire body is a gun, and it's boring as shit. <clears throat> There's gotta be an award for that. Like, this guy should have been in a shootout every third fucking scene, you know? gotta be an award for that like just making the most boring film with the fucking there should have been there should have been some some girl should have tried to get on him and he should have been like sorry babe you can't handle what i'm packing <laughs> in alas it did not it did not have that in the film at all why would you make me have to think about things i don't have less <laughs> oh my god you're right the jogging scenes uh Anytime they were on screen, God. Yeah. Was... So we've still got plenty of good ones to watch, though. Yeah, for sure. I can just watch Neil Breen again. Dude, I can't wait to roll back through the Breen catalog now that we've got the Breen blanket. Ellen can, like, cuddle in fear under the Breen blanket. It's true, she can. Sorry, Ellen, this wasn't what I intended for your species. <laughs> you were supposed to love Breen. <laughs> My god. <laughs> so fucking bad. Like, There's just, there's like no redeeming qualities to those Breen films. Dude, ever. I can't wait for Twisted Pair 2 to come out. I'm so excited. Oh, is that actually a thing? Well, yeah, because remember, it's it left off for a sequel. Oh, oh no, yeah. You went to sleep, I think, because you were a little bitch. Uh, I mean, <coughs> I'm an old man. What do you want from me? God. I love whenever he's like walking through the freeze frame with all the soldiers. He's like, I'll oh. lead you to safety. Follow me. Yeah, no, that's that <laughs> stuff is great. Cause he's like super. <laughs> yeah, like really learned to green screen. He could like shrink himself and jump. <laughs> God, he's so into himself. It's like. It was amazing. It's so fucking annoying how he, like, how much he fucking loves himself. <laughs> like god awful what breen isn't gonna offend his own movies anymore no i didn't send that to you that sounds terrible although actually maybe crowdfunding could be better for him he could get even more money <clears throat> that's true he does have a cult following by that i mean an actual cult i mean i'd send breen a dollar he's giving me hours of entertainment I think I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna send him a dollar. 
Especially if he puts my name in the credits. That's what I really want. I'll give him a dollar if he lets uh, he if he puts uh, puts Ellen in the movie. <laughs> nah, I don't want to my I don't want to be in this film. I, Ellen, I think I think Ellen would do do a really well uh, good job here. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Yeah, I think I'd pay to see that. <laughs> Breen, I'll pay you a dollar to cast Ellen in this movie. No, it needs to be like if someone goes to look at their locket. You know, and then Ellen's photo is in it. <laughs> Perfect. That's what it would be. Yeah. That'd be the funniest fucking shit ever. <laughs> Rain thinks of Ellen. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, cut. That was a really good take, Ellen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man, we would have an actual celebrity in the house. I know. <laughs> Unlike Devin, <clears throat> who's a model. That's true. I think Ellen would be down for this. Oh, yeah. She seems excited. There's a comment with a bunch of periods in it. Just all dots. <laughs> which all means dots. she's excited. Oh, yeah. Must be. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing I could think of it meaning. Yeah, that's what a long ellipses means. Right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> Like, there's no words for how excited she is. So yeah. she just, just started jamming on the period key. Makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> well, I'm glad at least Ellen's in for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lord knows I would never do it. <clears throat> I would hell be in the Breen movie. I want to be one of the villains in the Breen movie. Yes, haha, ha, it is true. All of us bankers are deluding the American people. Haha. Ha. We are all traitors and evil. I think you got a hit. Yeah. yeah. I, think you're, uh, I was just hanging out with the politicians and the lawyers and the media. And the. In God, every and line. We is... all decided that, yes, we would continue to corrupt America. God, every... Just because it's fun and we love money. Every line is like that, too. And that's like the worst <laughs> part. Like. Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> like legit every line is that it's, that's why they're amazing i love it it's so fucking funny because they're like just super on the nose like oh like, yeah it's not even like trying to be subtle it's not even it's not even ham fisted it goes beyond ham it, yeah. it's like full slab of beef fisted i was gonna say it's just the full pig yeah right it's a full pig fisted right up its ass <clears throat> Fucking love it. It's so insane. Oh god. I can feel trouble in the air. Huh. He had a tweet where he said he didn't want to self fund, but he didn't want to do crowdfunding. He wants like an actual company or someone to invest. That's really weird. I mean, again, like if he wants people to fund him, he needs to do crowdfunding. Yeah, beggars can't be choosers, man. Right? Yo, Louie, what's up? <clears throat> what up, Louie? This is a stream from Beyond the Grave. We all died. I mean, I'm better ish. I still have a cough, but I usually have like a lingering cough after I'm sick. <coughs> don't hang out with Devin. Yeah, Devin is still sick. You better not be hanging out with him. Don't believe his lies. Yeah, don't. T if he tells you he's cool, he's not. He's a liar. He's a goddamn fucking liar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's up? He said, no, fuck Devin. Damn. <laughs> yeah, because he tested positive, too. Yeah. I'm the only one who's negative, along with Sabrina. Yeah. <clears throat> I have to go back to work tomorrow, too. Mm -hmm. Well, according to the CDC, me and Ellen aren't contagious anymore. Yeah. Now, don't get near Devin, though. I mean, I don't think that ever needs to be a problem. <laughs> Oh, 
At least I don't foresee it. Mm-hmm. And the lawyers and the bankers. <laughs> You've been using eye daggers. It's true. My eyes have been poked several times. <laughs> Who's using eye daggers? Sabrina. That's how she was staying safe. Eh. I actually don't know. I, I have no excuse for how I was staying safe. I, I've been like, tr- I tried for the first part of it to sleep on the couch, but then Devin got sick and I was like, well, I guess I have no place to live now. Mm-hmm. Might as well just accept that I'm probably going to catch it, but I haven't caught it, so. Well, you at least don't have any symptoms. Yeah. So. I, mean, I don't have symptoms and I've had two negative COVID tests, so. Yeah. Yeah, he tested negative twice right at the beginning, so. Because yeah. I tested negative when I was <coughs> first checking on if I had it or not. Yes, cat pee cleaner will work. Go spray it all over Devin right now. Well, hold on. Don't do that. Charge him first. Well, you're right. People gotta pay for that shit. That's true. He probably pays for that anyway. Yeah. It's like you guys don't even think about the possibilities of making money anymore. It's like you haven't been in a car in so long, Wes, you haven't even thought about it. It's true. I'm just done with everything. I just want to go grocery shopping, man. That's all I want. I don't know. I want to go walk the aisles. I want to go where the people are. They walk around on one of those things they call them? Oh, yeah. Feet. Mm-hmm. I wanted to go down and cough on all the protesters in Austin. You could have. I could have, but I was lazy. Mm-hmm. How it goes, man. Truly the American way. Cough on all the secessionists and ask them how they plan on deciding, you know, like, who will get to pick as slaves. Because that's the entire reason I'm assuming they want to secede. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, it's the first, it's the only reason Texas, you know, succeeded. Uh, seceded. Seceded. Well, we successfully seceded. You did, yes. We succeeded in a succession. Yep. Well, technically we didn't. Because we lost the Civil War. Well, no. Texas won the Texas Independence War, so that was our successful secession. I guess, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> We're the only state in the South that has a successful secession. Technically, um, were we a state for Mexico? Uh, yeah, we were part of Mexico. Yeah, but I mean, what we called a state, or would we call a province? Uh, I think it was a state. I don't remember how they slice their stuff up. I know they have states now. Yeah, I just didn't know um, so. if, if we wanted to be technical. Because there's going to be somebody I mean, out there. It doesn't who, matter. It's still a secession. I'm just saying, there's going to be someone out there who's going to well actually us, and I don't want to be. I don't want How be. are you getting well actually, though? We seceded from Mexico. Yeah, yeah. Then it doesn't matter. The word, the verbiage matters. Because as you said, as you said, we were the only successful state. Yeah, Texas is the only successful state. We're currently a state. We're the only successful state that had a secession. Like, Alabama didn't successfully win any War of Independence or the Civil War. <coughs> the The state criteria is listed right now. Well, actually, Jeff. Okay. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't need to encourage him. He's just like those BuzzFeed reporters over here. He's just looking for something to some clickbait. He's out here looking for an egregious offense inside of a Persona song after he mishears the lyrics. It's true. <clears throat> Can you believe that? Those Perso- damn Kotaku reporters. Can you believe that Persona used the R word? No, but I can believe you misheard the lyrics <laughs> and wanted to write an article about it. Yeah. Well, you'd be right on both accounts. All right. Yeah, this was 
looks good though. Yeah, it's giving alright. I like it. I'm not gonna die, I'm already over it. <laughs> I'm the next super soldier candidate? Okay, sweet. I don't think that program is gonna go very far, though. It'll go far enough. <clears throat> Unless I guess they're like pumping me full of something. That might be successful. <clears throat> I'll be the only person who can defend the internet from Devon. Sabrina says, if you survive, you get to go talk to school children about the years of polio. I mean COVID. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to Mars with Elon Musk and Muhammad's going to be there? Nice. <laughs> what is this like when he's like fucking like talking to you like you're George? Hmm? Talk about the rabbits? Oh, yeah. No, I do remember I think people would come and talk at the school about polio or something. Yeah. I feel like that actually happened in real life. No, that's no, that's real life. I'm talking about the yeah. Louis talking about, well, don't worry, we're going go, <clears throat> we're gonna go to Mars with Elon Musk. It's going to be okay, and you get to play with the rabbits. Tell me about the rabbits, George. Right. Well, I don't want to go to Mars. That's where all the evil cockroaches are. No, Mars has a uh, Pandora's box. No, oh, that too. Maybe we could use that to defeat the roaches. Possibly. <clears throat> we have to go in through the face of Mars. And, oh, we have to watch out for the ghosts of Mars, which is a horrible fucking movie. <laughs> what about that one, uh, one uh, Ray Bradbury story, too? Oh, yeah, yeah, that one's pretty good. There's a lot of uh, <clears throat> things that are on Mars that we have to worry about. Mm-hmm. Wait, actually. It's a bat, actually? Oh shit, is there a bat on Mars? We'll have to go defeat Matt Damon. <clears throat> he rules the Martian landscape. Ah, uh, yes, there we go. It's like ah, uh, I was thinking Miramax films, like old Matt Damon or sorry, young Matt Damon. What? I was thinking like like <clears throat> for some reason like a young Matt Damon film. I don't know. <laughs> you still want to buy a booster box and then stream it and rip the roach in half? That'd be hilarious. It's probably worth like zero dollars now. Also, those foils don't rip very easily, if I remember right. Only one way to find out. Oh, you're right. Let's go get your most expensive foil mat and rip it in half, and we'll see. I don't even know what that would be. <laughs> and I don't really want to take the effort to find that out. <clears throat> Just pick any foil, man. Fuck off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Kaiba has superhuman strength and money to buy him more superhuman strength. So he can rip anything in half. He could rip a phone booth in half. 
Kaiba's a juvenile power fantasy. No, it's so true. The, the real You're right, Shane. The real good character is Joey Wheeler. <laughs> That's the real adult hero. Mm -hmm. Joey Wheeler's got to pay for his deck. <laughs> right? He had to get a paper route. <laughs> Damn, he can't rip a decent top deck versus yu gi though. That's pretty funny. <clears throat> That's okay, no one can. Mm hmm. Not a single person. Even Joey Wheeler, the real right. American hero. You give us all about how the capitalists struggle. Hmm, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> You just had pharaoh privilege? Yeah, exactly. Is that it? Yeah, pharaoh privilege. <laughs> Bro, anytime he draws card of sanctity, it's fucking high. Card's super good. Mm-hmm. Way too good. Exactly, Louie. Literally and like. <clears throat> like, literally, like. And that makes me think of that article that someone wrote saying that people who say like are more thoughtful people. And I was <laughs> what? like, yeah, there's this article that people that, um, that said people who say like or uh, do things to compare things to everything all the time are more thoughtful individuals and I was like okay sure man look we get it you were picked on in high school and you got a chance to write an article <laughs> now I think they're maybe they're trying to say people who like compare stuff to things but I thought you meant who no. just use the word like like a valley girl they do that's what <clears throat> they meant oh then they're a dumbass who got picked on for saying like too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good vibes only, Matt. <laughs> nah. <laughs> we don't do that here. Only negative. <laughs> Matt, this is like literally like the best like literal Fire Emblem character you've literally ever like drawn. Uh, don't worry, I'll draw literally. it better. I'll draw it better with uh, the next one. Oh damn! <clears throat> I mean, cause think about it, that one's actually a sexy girl. This one's just she, what is this? There's no tits. <laughs> there's, oh, no, God. there's no tits. Therefore, it's not even worth drawing. <laughs> what even was the point? Those comic book guy vibes. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I love when he has, like, all the tacos in the wheelbarrow. This should suffice for the Doctor Who marathon. <laughs> 100 tacos for $100, man. Hey, man. That's a good deal. That's a really good deal, man. That's solid. A solid deal. Mm-hmm. That's a one-to-one -one dollars to taco ratio. One, uh, one justice. <laughs> I think it was really good. Yeah. There we are, 2021. Still wet, though, so, because I got yeah. all the white on and shit. Yeah, I'm going to say it over there. Yeah.